I spent three days painting outside for the Great Migration Paint Out. Here's what happened at the exhibit and who won awards. I had three pieces in the show. There are two of them. For a paint out, you have to paint all of your paintings outside. When I first got there, they had a beautiful three-piece band playing. My dad came to support me and we got a drink at the bar. Then I brought him over to show him that I won an award. This is a merit award from the Art Society of Kingsville for my painting Morning Walk with My Love at Cedar Beach. Then we checked out the children and youth category. I was blown away by the children and youth talent this year. A lot of their paintings sold. There was a ton of awards. I didn't record any of the children's awards because I don't like putting videos of kids on my channel without the parents' permission. Then I happened to spot Jim Crichton walking around and ran into Carolyn Hardy. I grabbed some food and it was delicious. Beautiful spread of food. It was a piece of art on its own. And then I walked around the exhibit and checked out all the artists' artwork. The level of talent in this competition was intimidating. We had artists come from all over the place, from the US, from Toronto, from Sarnia. There were, I believe, over 50 artists. All types of mediums, watercolor, oil, acrylic, oil pastels. When you see a red dot, it means that the painting was sold and there were a lot of sales. I didn't sell anything, but I never expect to sell anything and then I'm just surprised when I do. And I never expect to win any awards either. But I was really happy to have won the Art Society Award and super happy for the winners who were very deserving of their prizes. I wish I could just follow some of these artists around and see how they make such beautiful art. And many of them were of the same subject, so it's always neat to see how different artists do different perspective on the same thing. And the band did a beautiful job keeping us entertained and the music was lovely. It really felt like an exhibit. And this guy's really into the music, the guy on the right. He's just bebopping and scotting around. Then it was time for the awards, and I didn't get the names of all the winners on video, but this is Andrea Cubis winning a Merit Award. This is me winning the Art Society of Kingsville Award, and my friend Rico taking a picture for me. That's Lane Van Loo and, and our mayor, Dennis Rogers, that I'm shaking their hands, forgetting that the camera was there. I'm always so awkward at these things. I didn't expect my name to be called so fast, and I didn't do a great job getting all of the names but this is Stephanie Doucette. Sorry, I don't remember what she won. And then Astra Nams sold all of her paintings. She won the quick paint and an award. Her talent is on a totally different level. And I'm really kicking myself for not remembering all of the names and the awards that people won. This is Nancy Plasco, but I don't remember what she won. Elizabeth Gay McDonald, she won third. Rico Dancel won second place for his uh, painting of a boat. Rico is one of the reasons that I got into painting to begin with. He's very generous with his knowledge. This is Don McDonald who won first place. And I don't recall who this person is, but they also won an award. Then it was time for the People's Choice and Sandra Ellis won. Sandra was a teacher at the college and she taught interior design. She's the only other artist I know locally who does marker art like I do. And she makes beautiful watercolor paintings. We often paint the same buildings. Then I saw this weird car and it was time to go home. Thanks for watching. Bye.